Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hello, welcome. My name is Denise. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on lifestyle, motherhood, cleaning motivation, vlogs, things like that. So I hope before you leave that you go ahead and click that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. Also make sure you hit that bell notification because you will get notified every time I post a new video, pregnancy update, whatever it is that you're into. So today's video is going to be my pregnancy update. I believe the last video I did was weeks 13 and 14, no 14 and 15 I think. I am currently 19 weeks pregnant so it has been a while and I hope nobody minds but we've been really busy around here. We are currently in our new house in Denver. We were packing up the house, we moved, um, just trying to get settled and things like that. So pregnancy updates have been the furthest thing from my radar. Uh, also, there hasn't really been a whole lot of change either. So I feel like the last few weeks would have been pretty boring as far as updates go anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my app and see where the baby is right now. Well, obviously she's in my stomach. If you, if you guys are new, we are having a girl. I already do have a 23 month old little girl uh, named Lenora as well. So 19 weeks. She is the size of a grapefruit. And that is approximately 8.47 ounces and length is 6.02 inches crown to rump. I am definitely getting bigger as she is getting bigger. Uh, my stomach just kind of popped out over the last three weeks. I think before, if you watch my videos, it just looked like I had a big old burrito baby in my belly and now it definitely looks like I'm pregnant. Um, I have been feeling pretty good. I don't have any like really negative side effects as far as like, like physically. Well, I do have one and I'll, I've been contemplating whether I want to put this in the video or not because uh, it's TMI but I guess if you're watching pregnancy updates, it's because you are pregnant or you're thinking about getting pregnant and it's just the truth. So I'll get into it. Can you sit please? You can sit here, but you need to sit. This happens all the time. So, okay, let's start with cravings. Cravings, I have been craving, I wouldn't say that I have regular cravings for things, but lately I've really been into like sub sandwiches and salt and vinegar chips. Obviously, yes, heated subs i'm not eating like subway cold subs i'm getting toasted sandwiches like mostly veggies some turkey and salt and vinegar chips that has been savory things like big time so I, it's kind of funny when people are like oh if you're craving savory it's a boy and sweet it's a girl well this pregnancy has been primarily savory foods and i'm having a girl so you know you kind of take that with a grain of salt but um what else i think yeah i don't really have a whole lot of cravings so nothing crazy you know I'll still eat gummy worms here and there, but it's not like a craving. So I just definitely say it'd be like sandwiches and um, sea salt and vinegar chips. Uh, very, 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 very thirsty. I drink so much water, especially being here in Denver. Um, the elevation is so much higher than where we came from in Michigan. So I just feel constantly dehydrated and um, yeah. The other thing I've noticed a lot lately, it started pretty early on, but it's gotten pretty severe lately, is I'm really winded all the time. Like I walk up the stairs and it takes me a solid five minutes to catch my breath. Um, so that's been quite annoying and it's probably also attributed to the move and the elevation. Um, let's see. <laughs> my body's definitely changing a lot. Um, I've talked about this every time, but it's just, it amazes me like, the changes as far as like my legs and my arms everything's still relatively the same but like my upper area is all growing and uncomfortable and sore and things like that so you know it's just the joys and it's funny it's things that you kind of forget about the first time around start coming back and you're like oh my god i forgot about this symptom and it's not the best one but I guess it'll be in the, you know, a thing of the past in just a handful of months anyway. Um, I think, okay, so the biggest one that I wasn't sure if I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to, um, <laughs> pregnancy, like constipation has been real. Uh, it was just this past week. I was super uncomfortable. I felt like I looked at least two months pregnant, like further along than I actually am. 
just really, really, really uncomfortable. And I know that's really common in pregnancy. I don't remember being like that with Lenny. Um, drinking tons of water, probably not enough fiber, but either way, uh, it's, it's the truth. So if you're pregnant or you are looking to get pregnant, that does happen and it's not the best side effect. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I think one of the hardest parts has been the pregnancy dreams or nightmares, I like to call them. Uh, pregnancy dreams are real. Like I have had terrifying dreams that aren't even worth or that I just wouldn't even feel comfortable sharing that involve like my child, my unborn child, my husband, my dogs, like just terrifying dreams that I wouldn't wish upon anybody and they're vivid. So that's been really, really hard lately. Uh, like I'm the type of person who has pretty vivid dreams regularly, like every night. So the days that I wake up and I'm like, I don't really remember what I dreamt about last night, which is really weird for me because I can usually recall everything. So on days like that, I'm actually very, very grateful because at least it means that I don't have to relive whatever it was that was going on in my head last night or the night before. So let's see, uh, weight gain, I, I don't have a scale with me. I have not been able to weigh myself, but I can I feel a lot heavier and I know a lot of that's like water retention um, the increase in blood volume and things like that so I will our truck is arriving today it looks like our house is furnished because I have this couch here and these toss pillows which are my sisters uh, we did buy rugs for the house for some of the rooms but um, our truck is arriving today so we'll actually be able to furnish our house and I'll be able to hop on the scale and just kind of see where I'm at as far as weight gain goes but I don't think it's much. Um, before, I think at my, at my last update, I was up like four pounds. So we'll see, I have no idea. Could be 10, I don't know, I doubt it, but we'll see. Hopefully that's better. I turned down the brightness. I thought it looked like really, really bright. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, weight gain. So I'm not really quite sure, but I will update that um, every Sunday. I'm gonna try to remember and get these done for you guys if you actually care to watch them. I'm doing them for myself too, just so I have these updates for the future. Uh, let's see, what else is there? To uh, doctor's appointment. So I did, I had my last appointment in Michigan at 15 weeks. I'm now 19 weeks and obviously those of you who have had children, you know that you have your anatomy scanned by 20, 21 weeks-ish. So I have contacted a new physician here. My sister works at uh, the hospital, one of the hospitals here in town and recommended a, an OB to me that she said I just had to go to. So I called her schedule is super, super busy, but my sister was actually in surgery with her this morning. And um, the, the physician said, you know, absolutely yes, of course I'm busy, but I would love to fit your sister in. So hopefully we'll get that scheduled in the next day or two. I have contacted them and I am waiting to hear back. So her anatomy scan will likely be within the next two weeks. So I'm still good as far as time goes. So we'll be able to see her again. We haven't seen her since they did like, when did we see her? It was like 10 weeks we saw her. And then at 15 weeks at my last appointment, the lady had like a tiny little handheld machine. So couldn't really see much, but I love the anatomy scan because then it really opens your eyes to just how fast they grow and we'll get all of her measurements and make sure she's super healthy. Um, we did have our genetic screening done and everything came back uh, normal and healthy. So it'll just be nice to actually see her and see how she's growing. We have chosen a name. So that's actually kind of funny too. Uh, with my first, we knew right away what her name was gonna be. I had it planned for years. It was a family name and my husband accepted that and um, grew to love the name as well. So this time around, it was really hard, like knowing that you are responsible for naming a child or a person, you know? So we came up with a name that we really loved. We used it for about two weeks. I like to talk to the babies while they're in me and just get comfortable and really familiar with them and whatnot. It's just something I enjoy doing and I like to use their names. So we, I, we were using it for a couple of weeks and it just one day we were both like, I just don't think this feels right and we agreed to change it so i can tell you originally her name was fiona josephine josephine was the middle name so fiona josephine bangiev and though both of those names i just love i think they're beautiful it just didn't feel right for her so we went back to one of the original names that was on the top of our list before we chose that one so she is named we love it it's beautiful 
it works really nicely with her sister, which is gonna be kind of cool. So I will share that when I'm gonna wait until she's born, just in case we decide to change our minds, but I think we've got it. Um, let's see what else. Um, I will show you a belly shot. Is there anything I'm leaving out? Oh, mood. I guess mood is one thing people wanna know about. I think my mood has been pretty stable as far as the being pregnant goes. I think that it's up and down because of the stress of moving and being in a new environment. Topic, exercise. That has been one in the past on my other videos. So I haven't exercised, full disclosure, in like three weeks. So that's why I haven't posted a Wednesday workout, um, prenatal workout. Uh, I just haven't. I haven't had time. I have had the energy, but I haven't had time. We've been packing and moving, and once our stuff gets all set in here, I will have a workout space, so I'm going to get back into it. I may not film it, though. They don't seem to be going over all that well, and these videos are a lot to put energy into. You put a lot of energy into them and effort, so if they're not being watched a whole lot, I'm not going to film them. But if you guys really want to see them and see what, kind of like what I'm doing to keep up my physical health and my mental health and uh, whatnot, and you want to see those workout videos and just comment below and let me know and I'll consider kind of throwing them in here and there. So as far as like feeling her, I have definitely been feeling more sensations in my stomach, like in my, in my uterus. When I was pregnant with Lenny, the first time I ever felt her kick was 16 weeks. Um, and then after that, she became a lot more active. I'm 19 weeks now and this one is not as active as she was. And she's obviously still very small, so it, I could potentially still, with Lenny, I had an anterior placenta, which meant that my placenta was in the front, so it was acting as a pillow. Every time she moved, I didn't feel as much as I would if the placenta were in the back or wherever else it could be. I don't know about all that stuff. But. Okay, so I kind of touched on this, how are you sleeping? Uh, the dreams are awful, but I'm not uncomfortable when I sleep, but I definitely have to have a large pillow between my legs to keep uh, my leg elevated. And that's about it. I haven't really had to use my snoogle yet. I have one of those huge C-shaped snoogle pillows, which has been awesome when you're like further along, but it also takes up a lot of room in bed. So I haven't had to use that for a while. So I just use a pillow and that helps a lot. And then I think the last thing I'll address is like birth plan. Do I have like a birth plan or anything that I'm trying to stick to? And I don't, I actually am, am really, really torn as far as how I want this delivery to go. Do I want to do it um, naturally and see like what happens? My last pregnancy, I did have a C-section and I was told that there's absolutely no reason I can't have um, a vaginal birth, a VBAC, uh, that if I go anywhere and they tell me that I can't to go somewhere else because my surgeon said I could. Uh, but you know, with that, I, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I haven't decided whether I want to schedule a C-section or whether I want to let it happen naturally. I may, I may intend to just like go through it naturally and hope that it happens and then if I have to have a C-section that's fine. But there are so many, and this may cause like controversy, some people may get up in arms about this, but for me, I had a really, really easy recovery as far as C-sections go and I felt awesome after. Yeah, there was like pain at the incision site, you know, when the meds wore off or when I decided to stop taking them and it wasn't, that wasn't, you know, um, easy at all. It was quite painful. But as far as like just recovery goes, I was hiking and, like a couple days later. I went on a long walk with her the first day we got home. I was running around the hospital the day after. Like I felt great. And I know that that's not a very common thing when it comes to C-sections. That's what my, my surgeon said. Most women are wheeled around in a wheelchair and taking weeks off. And I know that I had like a unicorn of a C-section recovery. So that may not happen again. Uh, but that being said, I do have a, a C-section hernia that I know I'm gonna need to get repaired. So the perk of having a C-section could also be if I get a general surgeon in on it, they can give me the C-section and then also repair the hernia all at once, which would be great. I wouldn't have to do two separate surgeries. And also I would hate to have like you know, I'm sorry if this makes anybody mad, but I would hate to also have like an issue where I need to get a hernia fixed in my C-section uh, site and then also have a bunch of issues going on down below that I don't know what could happen. Do you know what I mean? So if I have the option to do one C-section because I've already had one, I may do that. I really don't know yet. I'm still like really up in the air about it, 
So if you guys have been in a similar situation, let me know uh, in the comments below. I won't be offended if you're offended by what I'm saying. It is what it is. We all have our own opinions on these things and that's just kind of the way I'm feeling right now. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. I will do regular pregnancy updates from now on on Sundays. Hi, baby. Somebody's a little sick. You are, yeah. So I really hope, oh, let me show you. Last thing, I'm gonna show you guys my belly. Okay, so here is my 19 week bum. I'm definitely still wearing my pregnancy leggings. So just from the side, front, and the other side. So she's definitely getting bigger. All right, so that is gonna be it for this video. I really go hope you guys enjoy these updates. If you do, please give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already for more updates in the future. And I will see you guys in my next video.